You can see how bad the spring noise here. Yeah, so that's definitely what we don't want. What is up guys? So, today, we're gonna be taking a look at arguably one of the best cubes on the market, which is the RS3 2020 edition. And this cube has had a bunch of attention because it's only $9, it's magnetic, and it has a special tensioning system, but it does come with spring noise. And the way you fix spring noise is through silicone lubricants. And I'll go ahead and show you guys not only how to fix spring noise on your puzzle, but also how I set up my RS3M. I'm gonna actually use a combination of Lunar and Martian in this video, but if you like your cube a little bit faster, then you can go with Lunar. If you like it a little bit slower, I recommend Martian. I don't recommend anything like Galaxy or anything slower than Martian, um, just because it makes the cube really, really sluggish. So we're gonna switch to tripod mode, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to install the magnets and fix spring noise. So let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so these are the materials that I will be using to set up my RS3M. We have the extra magnet pack that you can get for like a dollar extra at speakertalk.com. Um, we have our silicone lube, so it's a silicone lubricant. It doesn't have to be weight one, it can be weight two, weight three, it can be any weight, honestly. But you just have to make sure it's a silicone lubricant. And then I have Lunar, Martian, and then of course the RS3M. Fixing spring noise doesn't just make the noise go away. It also lubes the puzzle. That's how you lube the core of the puzzle. So this is the spring noise before, and we're going to show you guys how to fix that. Let's go ahead and break down this puzzle. Um, a lot of people, if, if you um, have not cubed before, you it may look like I'm completely breaking the puzzle. So um, there actually is some lube that's originally in the puzzle. Alrighty. Um, usually, I don't loop the core like this, so what I do is I just take all the pieces and let's put the core right here on the towel. And yeah, prepare to get your hands a little bit greasy. Okay, but the first thing I want to do is I want to take all the edges. And the edges are these pieces, which there's only two colors on. So you want to take all those. There should be 12 edges in total, and there should be eight corners. So basically, you can just take out the corners, and here are the edges. What we're gonna do with the edges is we're gonna add extra magnets here. So we're gonna increase the magnet strength, and let's see, hopefully that feels a little bit better and more stable, because a lot of people think the magnet strength is quite low. Alrighty, so we're just gonna take any edge, and you're just gonna go ahead and pry it open like this. It should come out pretty darn easily. We're gonna see there's one magnet right there and one magnet right here. So you're just gonna go ahead and lay it there. And you're gonna take one magnet. And you're just gonna place it right there and it will just automatically magnetize to the magnet that's already glued in. And it will just set itself there. So all you have to do is just place it in that area. And then you can just close up the cube. Um, put this bottom thing back on. And that is one edge that is finished. So we're just gonna put that there. And I guess here's a time lapse of me doing the rest. Ah, uh, baby, come back. Alrighty, so it's just the perfect amount of magnets. So you'll be left with an empty bag. And we'll have all the edges here. So let's go ahead and assemble the puzzle back together. Hey, yo, Charles. Drop it on me. So, once the magnets are done, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into how you fix spring noise. So the, actually the problem with spring noise is right here in the screw. So you're just gonna go ahead and take the screwdriver and just completely unscrew one of the centers. And once that is done, you have the spring, you have the screw itself, and then you have the dual adjustment system, and then you have down there the metal ring, which is the washer. And you can see you can take this out, which is sort of a pretty cool shot. Okay, yeah, there's what the washer is with the dual adjustment system, and then you have the washer. So what you want to do, you don't want to get carried away with this, you want to um, keep the washer in there, 
and you should keep the um, dual adjustment system actually in there as well. And you're gonna go ahead and take the silicone lubricant of your choice. So I'm using weight one. Um, the higher weight you go, the more gummy the cube is gonna feel, more controllable and slow it's gonna feel. So you're gonna put on the nozzle. And we're just gonna go ahead and take a tiny, tiny bit. Take the screw and you're gonna put a tiny, tiny bit right here at the bottom of the head of the screw. So you're gonna just do a tiny, tiny bit. And then you take the spring and you're gonna put that there and do a tiny bit right here on the edge of the spring. And finally, just put a tiny, tiny bit where the washer is on the puzzle. I don't know if you can see a little bit towards the bottom left. Just gonna put a tiny bit and then you're just gonna stick the screw back in the puzzle and screw it back in. But yeah, as you can see, the spring noise is gone. Alrighty, so white side is done. Let's just take off all the center caps. We're gonna go ahead and do one more example on, let's do, let's just do yellow side. So you, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the screwdriver, your hands may get a, a little bit greasy with the lube. Take the screw and the spring out. You're just gonna take it and you're gonna take some of your silicone lubricant and just put a little bit right here. Then you're gonna take the spring back on and you're gonna take some of the lubricant and you're gonna put it right here on the edge of the spring as well. And then just put that to the side and a little tiny bit in the core. So I don't know if you can see that. And then you're just gonna stick the spring back inside the puzzle and you're just gonna go ahead and screw it back in. So yeah, that is two sides done pretty much. As you can see, I can still hear some spring noise, right? Which either means I didn't put enough lube or it has to be broken in. So you just turn it a little bit and then there's still spring noise. Then you can add some more lube. And as you can see, the spring noise is gone because the lube has sort of been broken in. Alrighty guys, so we are done. Make sure to take off the nozzle of your silicone lubricant and make sure to replace it with the little black thing they give you. So we have the cube here and with the weight one in, it feels a tad bit smoother and honestly it doesn't really change the way the cube feels. Well, the only last thing to do is to make the puzzle a tad bit smoother and that's with these lubricants right here. We're gonna add like two drops of Martian and we're gonna go ahead and see how that feels. So you're just gonna unscrew the Martian. You're gonna turn a little bit here and then turn a little bit down. You're just gonna hold that hole there. That's the way I do it. And then you're just gonna drop one and two drops of Martian. And just go ahead and break it in. Okay, so immediately I can feel the cube getting smoother. Yeah, it's definitely a lot smoother and softer. And usually I like to do two at a time, so then I'll do another two. I wouldn't go beyond four drops of Martian in the RS3M, um, because then it may get quite gummy. We have the before and after, so here's what it sounds like. So yeah, pretty darn clacky. So much more softer, quieter and just overall more controllable feel. It's still quite fast, which is what I like, but it's it's definitely more controllable than this. Thing. Quite sandy and clacky. This is just, it's a little bit more moist. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even out the screws. So the tensions aren't perfect now because you just screwed and unscrewed them. We're just gonna go ahead and sort of feel that same sort of depth with finger. Screw this in a little bit, and you're you're sort of just gonna eyeball it. Um, I haven't really come up with another system. This one's definitely a bit loose. So we're gonna go ahead and test out the cube, and let's see if we need to. 
tighten it at all with the dual adjustment system. It's better to keep your cube a little bit looser with the screws because you can always tighten it with the dual adjustment system. If you want speed, pretty decent speed and a pretty good amount of control, then I would recommend this setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video was helpful. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time on Boss Bassoon. It's a long, delayed video. Um, I'm so sorry. Just apologize really quick. But today, we're gonna be taking a look at the RS3M, which is like pretty much one of the best cubes on the market right now. And we're gonna be showing you guys how to set it up and to get rid of some spring noise as well. The video was delayed at first because I wanted to keep the original, and then I thought I lost the magnets, but I just found them. So we're trying to get this video out as soon as possible. Do you want to restart that?